Yo, what is going on guys? It is District Trainer here bringing you guys this brand new video. Now today guys, we're going to be going over the reasons on why Lil Pump just isn't as dumb as you guys may believe. Now I honestly think he's kind of playing this dumb personality a little bit too much, but in reality, he's actually a lot smarter than you guys might think. Now if you guys are a Lil Pump fan, I highly suggest you guys leave a like on this video because I am very curious how many people watching this video right now are fans of his. And make sure you guys leave a comment down below your thoughts on this video for a shout out in my next video. So if you guys know anything about Lil Pump, you would definitely know that he isn't the brightest person on this planet. But what if this is all just a front to brainwash people into becoming his fan? Because guys, he's very young and he's making so much money just from making music and acting dumb in public. So there's got to be a little bit more than just behind that, that he is doing behind the scenes. So those are just a few things that we will be talking about in this video. So if you guys are new, please subscribe to the channel because we are also giving away an iPhone X. So if you'd like to enter, just subscribe to the channel, like this video, and turn on on my channel notifications and make sure you're active on every video I upload now anyways let's just jump straight on into this video now I want to bring this up first as the first point in this video because this is a very recent thing that just happened so if Lil Pump was so-called dumb he definitely would have been able to have finessed his deal for millions of dollars so a few months back Lil Pump was signed to Warner Bros for two million dollars now in the process of this first two million dollar deal he only released one project and a few singles and then Pump actually got the deal terminated because he was signed under the age of 18 and he just wanted out of the deal in general. So he practically got paid $2 million just for one project and a few singles, which is actually pretty nuts if you think about it. And he even said in an interview that Gucci Gang, the song that basically blew up the most for him, only took him about 15 to 20 minutes to actually make. So he practically got paid over $2 million for about 20 minutes of work. Now once the deal was terminated, Pump went on Instagram to say that he isn't signing for any deals less than $10 million. And guys, let me remind you, this kid's only a 17 year old kid, and he's talking about this kind of money, so obviously he knows what he's doing and he's not, you know, as dumb as everybody says he is. So while he was looking for a new deal, Gucci Mane actually hit up Pump. If you guys don't know who Gucci Mane is, he's like one of the biggest artists out. He's been around the game for a very long time. Everybody should definitely know who Gucci Mane is, but he hit up Pump and he was trying to sign him to his label, 1070. Now Gucci Mane even gave Pump a 1017 diamond chain, which is around $20,000. Gucci Mane didn't offer Pump enough money, so he never even ended up signing with Gucci Mane, but he did end up getting a free 20k chain, which is also really nice. He still wears that chain practically every single day. Gucci doesn't even want it back, he said just keep it, because Pump did look up to Gucci while he was on the come up as well, so it's just kind of like a idol type thing. Now take us on into yesterday, now Lil Pump signed back to Warner Bros for $8 million dollars which is actually so insane that they would even sign pump back after they after he pretty much finessed them for two million dollars but they decided to sign him for another eight million so in the end pump was looking for a ten million dollar deal and that's actually what he ended up getting from the exact same record label that he was at before he got the deal terminated so ten million dollars for a 17 year old kid that's literally nuts and almost unheard of unless you know he bought bitcoin back when it was like ten dollars now if he was quote retarded i'm pretty sure he wouldn't have had the thought of terminating his original deal just to get a new one for four times the amount of money but hey that's just my opinion honestly now obviously his management team would have helped him with the process of this but pump did say in an instagram live video that it was his idea and that he's going to be trying to get it out of the deal but now he just got back right into the same deal with the same company but now he has 10 million dollars in his bank account so getting into the second thing how Lil Pump is kind of brainwashing all these young teens is just because how he acts in public so we all know by now if you guys just do like dumb and just funny things in general out in the public so like at a mall or something you will create a following from it now just take Boonk as an example he has a huge name on social media now just for doing crazy things in public now if you guys actually remember before Pump's music started blowing up like it is today he would actually upload clips to Instagram and things like that on the internet of him doing very dumb things in public which helped him grow his name so much more now that's actually originally how i found pump was him doing crazy things he would just pull in public like shooting a firearm out of a moving car now i'm telling you guys right now if you guys really want internet fame like really bad literally just go out in public and do something stupid like don't do anything illegal but honestly just do something stupid on like a mall escalator or something and i guarantee you'll get a little bit of juice from it and that's what Lil pump saw he knew that if he does dumb things it would create a following for him so Lil Pump started doing these dumb things in public which 
grew his Instagram and things along the lines of that. And then that basically what started his career because he would gain followers from all of those comedy type videos and then he would start promoting his music to his following that he created from that. It's actually a very smart tactic and if you guys are looking to make music, I would suggest doing that route because it's pretty hard to get known with your music nowadays. Now in the third thing, I actually believe Lil Pump uses to attract people to become his fans is just going to be his music style. Now I will have to admit, his music isn't really the best, but Lil Pump pretty much created a new wave somewhat of music that literally attracted millions of people to listen to his songs. Now Lil Pump has this kind of style where he likes to repeat the title of his song like 50 times and likes to have a hard hitting beat in the background and it just works out perfect for his style of music. Now as an example in Gucci Gang he said those words 52 times in the duration of the song which made it very catchy for the listener. Now you do have to admit when that song was actually popping and pretty much taking over all the charts everybody was singing that song and everybody was saying the words Gucci Gang at least once a day. I don't know why, it just kind of happened. So it kind of brainwashes people to think, you know, this is a really catchy song, let me keep listening to it, let me keep singing it. Lil Pump has a plan guys, he's not as dumb as you guys think, it's all marketing and he's doing the best. If I have to say who's doing the best marketing for their music, it's going to be Lil Uzi Vert, XXXTentacion, and Lil Pump. Now that has been the video, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you do want to enter the iPhone X giveaway, and make sure you guys turn on my channel notifications or you will not be able to enter anyways guys it's been district trending and i'm out peace